You know what's crazy? I cannot stop thinking about the Warhammer Mechanicus soundtrack. Like, at all. Like, I don't even play this game. Cannot stop thinking about this damn game. Like, Children of the Om Messiah is just... Like, what's crazy to me about that is that that's literally like a piece of music that starts off so atmospheric, so haunting, so fearful, <clears throat> so scary, so like built on the idea of like a powerful force, like showing up at your house, being like, what's up, bitch? And it like knocks down the door. Like, I can't, I can't get over it. I can't get over it. Like, fast forward to a minute. Like, like, like this organ stuff that's going on here. Listen to this. Like it's just spinning like that. And then you get these big giant choruses. And what's cool to me about this is that it's like, like, I, I just can't believe it. Like rarely does a game soundtrack just like inject itself into my, like it's, it's just nuts. The soprano over top like that. And then, and then it's crazy because you like, oh, oh, be, oh, be the, that chord structure right there. That's actually like accompanied. Listen to this. So like the like mechanical mechanicus, like Omnissiah thing. Oh, be the. So as the lower voices move down, so does the same time that mechanical thing. And there's this like fascinating crunch that occurs with that. Oh, God. And then it slows down. And that, I mean, yeah, it's the same structure, but like, listen, ba -ba -ba -ba, there's these like little musical cues in here that just drive me crazy. And then, and then, and then you get the soprano right out. No, me. It's so crazy because this piece is so derived from the like ideas of the church and the ideas of like Catholicism and the idea of, of like, like liturgical singing, chant singing, like in Gregorian or, you, you know, Omni Santos Domine, Dona Eis Requiem. It's the same... And then, and then it's, and then that organ crunch added with the mechanical thing in there. So I've never listened to uh, Lost Civilization. Let me listen. You hear that beginning of a chant there? The rhythmic thing? Boom, boom, cha, boom. Dude. That is such a sick rhythm. Boom, boom, cha, boom. You know what I really like about the Mechanicus soundtrack is that it, it, it throws no punches. It's very much a mature person's game. Like, Granted, the game is is not my cup of tea. Like the sort of XCOM, I want to try it again actually. But like, what's what's nuts to me is that this music in in this game is so mature, and it has a sound quality that you almost like. It's almost like you're. It's almost like you can't. You're not invited to the club if you don't understand it, right? Like it doesn't necessarily satisfy everybody, but for those that it does satisfy, it like scratches this weird itch that you wouldn't think that you even have. Like it's one of these ethereal things where you're like, oh, I fucking love that. Why do I love that? I don't know. You know what I mean? Like it just doesn't make any sense to me. But this, like it, again, the the, the Guillaume David is so genius because we start the song and we instantly feel this boom, boom, jump, boom, this rhythmic propulsion, but it's like stretched out. Like there's the pulsation, right? 
And you have this bell chant. Like again, we, we never lose sight. We never lose sight of the religious thing. Boom, boom, chomp, boom. That, that bell quality there. My God. Oh, there's the organ. And the organ is all over this. I mean, it's crazy. Like, that's what, three tracks? I, I've, I've listened to uh, uh, Chestus Metallicon, but like, I'm pretty sure every track in this game has some sort of organ, and all of it's so unique. God, that crunch is so good. Just gonna fast forward. It's glorious that's glorious that's crazy oh man that's so cool what's so cool about that is just the the like grungy like especially if you're wearing headphones like you can't you, you can't like not feel the vibration echoing through your entire body right and and the melody there is so juicy even though it's just in the organ like it just it just moves in a way that is so intellectual and so mm, god that's good i've i've heard i want to hear warriors of mars La. And, th and there's the chant again. The rhythm's in there. Holy shit. There's the organ. There's a big push. like it threads the line between ambient and melodic music so even though it's written in a way that's very atmospheric uh, it, it it like catapults itself into this concept of it's both melodic and rhythmic and ambient it tells a story you really feel like uh it's called warriors of mars and you feel like this like sense that the that these warriors are ferocious, but in a very measured and slow way because it's slow, it's not aggressive. And so, a lot of these tracks are slow and a lot of these tracks require a certain amount of patience to navigate, which I think makes them <clears throat> in like that sort of like, 
you know, you really have to sit down and allow yourself to let the pieces wash over you in order to fully appreciate them. But I think it's really cool. And I, and I wonder if it's part of the reason why it's so ambient and melodic is due to the fact that the, the type of gameplay, it's almost meditative. It requires a certain, a certain time to process attacks and process strategy. <laughs> Dude. It's just stupid. I mean, it's just so damn good. What's this? Millennial Rage. It's so funny. That's like the Jaws theme. And that second there, really, the the, the leap there, the the step, really gives it that that danger quality. That I think that the piece, uh, you know, a piece like Jaws, the Jaws main theme, that that concept there it really does cause like an innate human sense of fear and a sense of uh, of disproportionate uh, un discomfort. Right. It's so cool. Again, just the mechanical sound quality in here. Wow. Yeah, and what's cool? And that gives us a real feeling of dread. I said that earlier, but but also a feeling of like, we are about to meet our maker, right? We are about to face a foe that that is beyond comprehension and, and beyond understanding. Yeah, I think using like, mechanical but using percussive instrumentation almost like hitting steel like it almost feels like it's like a you're just smacking a pipe god that 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 slaps and you really get the sense that the that the mechanicus is this this military focused vengeful like like organization that that it doesn't think it's like a unified force and there's no thinking that's occurring here and the mechanical elements here the creeping crawling it almost sounds like these guys have like spider legs that are made of metal and when they they crawl and it's interesting it, it, it like feels like they're non-thinkers like there's no there's no rational thought by the army of the mechanicus like yeah i mean i understand that it's it, like the the machine god sort of like runs the show and everything and but the lore has lost on me a little bit but but it's, it's just like you really hear that in this music this like plodding forward but it's it's a vengeful sort of sound quality <laughs> And the manipulation there of the voice is so cool. That's all the voice is doing, but we get this like muffled, very distant sound. And I, you know, also like from a musical perspective, it's almost like, well, is that is that sound the the consciousness of the army of the of the the, the mechanics mechanicus army that is so muffled and so distant that they can no longer express themselves outwardly. And so it's like because they got the masks on and all that other stuff, you know. That rhythm is so good. Ah. 
it's like it's like a ferocious klaxon isn't that so cool <clears throat> that's so cool hold on i want to um overlord let's see Feel that pulse in there, huh? So like from a vocal perspective, first of all, like fuck, that's so cool. But like, short, 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 short. Like, oh my gosh! And then the the fact that we brown, boom, boom, and then you get that real again, that metallic sound. We never are far away from Guillaume did such a good job of never letting us be far away from the boom. Boom, boom, tap, that from that metallic, metallic sound quality. But the uh, the choral thing is really impressive. Ah, bah, 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 bah. And again, it's like so it's it threads the line between ambient and melodic so effectively. And that's I think one of the reasons why I like it so much is that every track you listen to. And now I'm not listening to the whole track, every track. But what's really cool is that we're getting this this cadence of a very melodic forward momentum rhythmic forward momentum melodic forward momentum and we're getting a lot of this ambient non-traditional instrumentation which leads it to be immensely interesting it's just like crazy you know this music is just the kind of stuff that you just like put on and just let play and and it's really crazy because you can get totally lost in it i could see why people <laughs> like build, build their computer parts uh their their computers while playing this or take their computers apart or whatever like that's the meme right there's just something about this music that's so wild <laughs> so rich it's just so rich the soundtrack is crazy and, and and that's why i'm obsessed with it the soundtrack is crazy the soundtrack is so satisfying i mean um it's it's unbelievable it's so good yeah i just wanted to take a listen to this with you i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you later